Hey everybody, it's SK again. In the last episode, we got Elric the Archer. And we need to find Creed. I mean, is there... Very said, move this rock in this manner and... Wait, what? Huh? What did I just do? Got it! Thanks, fairy! Uh, what? Is this how I find Creed's house? And why am I looking for Creed? I think I may have forgotten this detail as to why this person is important. Ah, shit. Sniff, sniff. I smell more invaders from the east. This is the territory of Mr. Creed. He seems like a wonderful and inviting fellow. Go away. But we have to see him. Why do we have to see him? Please let us pass. Why do we have to see Mr. Creed? Leave now. Never mind. Get him, boys. <laughs> well, I ain't fighting them with five people, that's for sure. Uh, so, hang on a second. Uh, maybe I should have done that before? Hey, there's a lot of, like, super 80s skeleton things with, like, long, blonde, flowing hair. Okay, that's cool. Uh... So, please let me have a turn. Yeah, so, we're going to run now. <laughs> Ouch. As fast as we humanly can, because we ain't doing that with, like, five people. Hell no. That is not happening with five people. So, this might take a moment. I'm going to be holding down the button, and I'm going to be asking how are you guys doing today? As we wait for all of this to happen, which I probably should have done off-screen, but didn't think about it. Now that I'm recording, F it! I may as well just keep on going. So, when is a good time to start promoting people? Do you really want to wait till 11, 11 to uh, level 40 to actually promote people? I mean, does the game support you actually letting someone wait till level 40? Or does it, you know, do what it did before, where it's like... You start losing experience from things because you are a uh, high enough level relative to where they are that... They don't expect a level 20 to be here, they expect like a level 5 to be here, or something to that effect. So it kind of forces you to promote them just so you can actually keep it a decent scale, because after a point I'm assuming it's going to be like, nope. Uh, yeah, I'd like to save, please. So that way I don't do that again. <laughs> My bae. And anyway, what is the use for all the mithril? I'm assuming it's for like, high-end armor sort of deal. Sort of dealio. Yay! So I need to see Mr. Creed because it's important. I I don't I don't know why, but the magic conch knows everything, so I guess we'll just do what he says. And I'm guessing or uh, words. I'm guessing that there's something important with the whole, you know, I have to talk to Mr. Fair Mr. Creed because of fairies or something. Um and is this where I'm going? Yeah. Yep. You know, it's really odd from, like, a design standpoint that you have to leave that place and then go back to it in order to actually proc the thing. It would, it would have made more sense if just when you left, it just started the whole, you know, process of letting you unlock the shit. Because if that hadn't happened by accident, I'd have been- I would have spent another full episode wandering around. I don't understand. Where am I supposed to go? I don't get it. I went here and it doesn't do anything. Nerp derp derp. You know? Also, this is going to be another map where all of my centaur are going to be useless. Every fucking one of them. Wait a minute. Is Elric in my party? Do I actually have a full complement of 12 people? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, Elric's not in my party. Uh... Oh, that means I'm gonna have to give somebody up. That sucks. Oh no, guys, I have to make choices now. I don't want to make choices. Choices are difficult. I'm lying. I love making choices. I just, I'm bad at them. Have I mentioned how much I actually love this overworld theme? It genuinely makes me happy. So yeah, I get the feeling that Peter is going to be my, uh... He's basically going to be like my, my rogue killer sort of- Oh. 
Oh dear. These guys have real high defense. I get the feeling I'm gonna start promoting people pretty soon. Because, uh... Yeah, this skeleton... This skeleton is not having it. Like, at all. Barfy Hugan, okay. But I'm actually kind of curious to look up and see if I can buy, buy Slade. I get the feeling I'm gonna get, like, two shot. Yeah. Yeah, there are also several of these skeletons, which makes me even more concerned uh, for my health and overall. Well, fuck your harpies. You're kidding me, right? I mean, obviously you're not, but... Fuck your harpies. Yep, bye, Slade. Been real. Oh my god, you actually survived. Hot diggity damn, son. Let me target the one I want to target, thank you. Yay, heal three! Yay! You have been given a second lease of life, good sir. Use that shit wisely, because if you don't, you're probably gonna die horribly. Remember how I said that Peter was probably gonna be my, my rogue agent, kind of murdering all the stragglers? Well, he's not. It's probably gonna be Jaha, because, you know, he was just there. Actually, maybe I could have it be Peter's. Nah, he's not gonna attack anybody. I can attack the orc. Besides, I need some of Peter's muscle here. To, uh, yeah. Hey, sweet. Attack by two. Hell yes. I may have to give up the dream with guns, unfortunately. Because he is a turtle, which means that he's a little bit on the slow side. Uh, I kind of want to attack the skeleton again. Really? That's how you dodge your attack? OP! OP, OP. I almost want to use D-Stall on the skeleton to see what happens. Oh, I was kind of hoping that it would actually be weak to fire. That would be hilarious. And innumerably useful. All right, Rick, it looks like you're going to be helping Jaha down here in a random orc town. I hope you don't mind. Because <laughs> if you do, I'm going to do it anyway, so... You may as well get used to it, my friend. Murder the skelly. And this time, I actually hit him for something. There you go. So, Luke's not going to be attacking him. Geralt will be attacking him, because Luke hits like toilet paper, apparently. Ooh, a broadsword. Yum. You also got attack plus two, which is nice. Murder the orc man. Eh. Why are Birdman so bad in these games? I mean, don't get me wrong, Valvaroy was like the bomb diggity, but because I was so intent on, uh, you know, the horsey nation that I never really had a chance to use him. And Eamon fucking sucked. I don't know if it, what Eamon's purpose actually was, but Eamon was awful. Or Eamon. I don't know how to pronounce the name. The names are hard. That's right, you go ahead and you, you swing your little spear McDig. McDig? McJig. Do I have anyone that needs to be healed? Uh, Chester, my man. But I will wait for a moment. Abandon all hope, all ye who enter here, orc man, because you have just been murdered. I do not want to tangle with those harpies, though. Really? Really? Cute. Okay, I see how it is. I see how you do. I see how you be, as a matter of fact. Oh, please try to shoot Rick in the face with an arrow. Well, 
You did. You definitely succeeded. Kill steal. Okay, never mind. Thank you very much, Slade. You took a shot to the face, but it's okay. You know what? I'm gonna smack you in the face with a stick. Just to add insult to injury. I mean, not just for him, but, you know, not just for the orc that died, but for guns because he didn't know how to actually hit anything. I love that the... The Wolfman is just sort of like all fisticuffs, like, put him up, put him up, mirror. Alright, so let's kill the madam as well while we're here. The orc is scary, but I need people who hit real freaking hard for that. And I would like to murder this chick quickly if given the opportunity with which to do so. You know, Luke, there's a reason I didn't notice at first that I was missing you. I'm just saying. Why are you whacking at me instead of, like, you know, shooting me in the face with stuff? That's kind of what ranged units do, isn't it? Or, like, or otherwise setting me on fire. That's the normal, you know, parlance and things that you do. Ha! You got countered. Nerr. Did I blow out your eardrums? If I did, I'm sorry. It is not my intent. But I might be a little bit too close to the microphone. I don't really know. Hang on, let me see if I can scoochify this sucker. There we go. Oh. I couldn't remember whose turn it was. Alright, Bowie. Round two. Not bad. So, Geralt, my friend. You need a little bit of TLC. Not a lot, but a little. There's also somebody that's, like, really badly hurt, too. And if I had paid attention, I would probably know who that is. But that would require thinking. Poor Jaha kills his own stuff. It's cool, that's what he does. And he got a good experience for it somehow. probably kill the one. Yeah, I was gonna say that if he doesn't do at least like 15 damage, then there is something wrong with the world. Alright, so let's head on back up. This map is not nearly as much of a pain in the ass as the other map outside of wherever the frick I was at. Hassan Chop, I think. Oh, hey. I'm also like hurting real bad. Maybe I should have What's My Doodle. Sarah, heal me. Ah, shit. Don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. Thank you for not killing him. You guys gonna come somewhere? You gonna do some things and stuff and whatnot? So, you probably are deserving of a heal 3 because you have enough of an HP pool that... Me doing that is really not gonna be beneficial without me having another healer to back you up. But Peta! You need to murder the shit out of this woman, please. Do I have healing potion? I have a healing scene. Good. In this instance, I will go ahead and use it. Normally, I'm not too keen on using, like, healing seeds unless it's, like, a boss fight sort of thing, because, meh, whatever. But I don't want to lose Chester, damn it. See? God, harpies are like the bats of Shining Force 2. Bastards. Ain't no point bringing him over there. He's not gonna do any damage. That's a good thing because I would have actually killed him if I hadn't used that healing seed. So, yay! That's not what I wanted you to do, computer. Why did you not recognize that I hit buttons and things? I'm, I'm bothered by this game.
Yes, you will be killed stealing the shit out of this, my friend. Even though you're not really getting any experience for it, but you know, whatevs. Come here, lady. But it's nice that I'm finally getting some use out of Sarah. Usually it's either they're not really hurt enough to require it or they're just dead. Turtle, turtle. At least when Slade starts, I know that, like, the turn order has started over because he is the fastest person I have, like, outright. Okay, Luke, you're gonna be bait. Okay, never mind. Apparently Slade's the bait. Woo! Skelly man, skelly man, doing what a skelly can. Can he shoot from a web? No, he's not, because he is dead. Look out, here comes the scaly man. This will probably end in his death. Because he's going to end up with very, very little health, uh, which is unfortunate. I just screwed myself over a little bit here. I'm displeased by that. Actually, no, I cannot. God damn it, stupid. What do you call that thing? It's not a blizzard. What do you call that? A desert. There you go. Making words with the best of them. Alright, Torta. Otherwise known as Guns, otherwise known as Kiwi. Really? Oh, he's gonna die. Not if I do this first. Double attack. No, damn it. You got attacked by two, though. That's good. Murder the priest. That, that's fine. That's fine. That's that's closer to death. There we go. I sincerely doubt the High Priest is the one that I need to kill. It's probably Skelly Man. Sweet. Alright, he's the only one that can act- Oh, thank you. God, Peter. You are a blessing. There we go. Alright. Could have been worse. What do you want, Oddler? Hurry, let's go into Creed's mansion. Who is Creed's mansion? Can you see? No, why? You're moving around as if you can see. Am I? Maybe other senses have sharpened since I lost my sight. This dude is pure evil. We, we know that, right? That there's probably like a third eye above his other eye that he can use to see from, like second sight sort of shit. This is where this is going, right? Oh, I see. Oh, wait, let's go see Mr. Creed. But seriously, why are we seeing Mr. Creed? And why is his music so happy? <laughs> what the fuck am I looking at? It's like skeleton monkey demon thing? You may go now. I need to talk to Fairy. Yes, sir. Dum -dum. Oh, time to check collections. So is he a pirate? Servant Goliath unlocks the door. Excuse me. Yo! Y yes? You've come to see Mr. Creed. My master? You have an appointment? A what? No, not yet, but... I'm sorry, but he's busy now. Please come back later. I can't see Mr. Creed now. No kidding! Let's force our way into the room! Oddly, you're getting bold. But it is a good idea. Yeah, that's how you wanna that's how you wanna get a point across. You're getting bold, but I like it. Hmm. Let's go! 
Did that guy just, like, teleport? He totally teleported. You impolite kids, you can't go in. Mr. Creed is too busy. Go away. This is the point where I'd be like, no, and I'm out. That door might lead to Mr. Creed. Let's ditch this guy and go through that door. He just teleported once. I don't want to fail now. This dude, pure evil. Okay, okay, we give up. We'll see Mr. Creed later. Let's get out of here. Yeah, maybe later. Is this, like, real fucking life right now? No, don't go in there. That door is... An epileptic attack? What stupid kids. Whoever passes through this magic door becomes small. That is anybody who's not protected by Mr. Creed. Life picks up Bowie. Now you're part of the collection! Great. What happened? A strange feeling swept over me when I entered that door. And I felt like I was lifted upward. It's very difficult to explain what happened to us. Anyway, we're very small now. Small? How small? You can't fucking see! What does small have a meaning to you? It has no bearing. Let's see. I want a desk and it's very large, like a village. Exactly. The booming voice of God, otherwise known as Skeleton Demon Man. Goliath. Hey, what did you do to us? I told you not to go in there. You didn't listen to my warning. You guys look so cute! Haha, <laughs> bye little kitties! Bowie, cheer up! Looks around to this desktop kingdom. Oh, adorable. I agree! We can meet Kree- Like, what?! You caused all this, shithead! I don't even know why I'm seeing this dude! Are you from the outside? Why did you come here? Ah, a mistake. I see. I suggest you see King Pompey. He's a good man. What the hell is going on in this town? This is really weird. This kingdom was made by Creed. There's no concept of time here. You never get old, you never die. What is the meaning of life? Creed is a fine gentleman. His magic saved us a long time ago during a natural disaster. Devils cannot use the magic to affect human lives. Supposedly, it's one of their rules. I can't let you pass without the king's permission. Really? A literal desktop kingdom. I was there during the disaster. I was looking for the legendary sword. I hate it here. Who are you? What the hell? This is fucking micro machines. Jesus. So, let's heal first. Yeah, let's raise. Nope, he's dead? Oh, okay. I'm not used to that. Also, we have Mr. Road with the, you know, the magic conch. Yeah, sure, what the hell, why not? Archer. I'm almost tempted to give up guns. He's beautiful and wonderful and just a, an amazing creature. But I'm almost tempted to give him up. Fuck it, bye Luke, you suck. Fuck Luke, I'm sorry, he sucks. You're not good Luke, you're bad. And you should feel bad. Continue on your adventure, yada yada, purple monkey dishwasher. Chess army is very strong. It will be good training for you. What? What the hell? I'm sure King Pompey will help you. Oh, you were not able to see Creed? Somewhere in Floor World. There's a tunnel that leads to Creed. In Floor World. Okay, I'll let you go if you win a game against my army. Let me go to the chessboard now. So, all of these people are tiny, they're incapable of dying, they're incapable of aging, they're basically toys. 
and now he wants me to play a like a literal game of chess. Is this what I'm is this what I'm seeing here? How do I get onto the chessboard? Game this solid armored body. Is healing my only ability? Ha <laughs> ha! You have a lot to learn. That thing looks super phallic. Lead the army with the king. There's the bishop. The knight's always ready to fight. Four pawns. My attack power is the best in the army. Uh huh. I bet. So, do I talk to you? So, how do I? Oh, I have to actually get on the book, don't I? Oh, this is how I get on the chessboard. The chess army of Death Stucked In is a well-balanced force. It is King Pompey's wish we will accept your challenge. Okay. I mean, this is like some Alice in Wonderland shit, but okay. Do your best! You know what I'm finding interesting is that these guys are actually moving the way they should be moving. Also, they have 53 attack power. 48... 48, 42, 51. Yeah, I get the feeling that I'm getting out leveled here. I'm gonna have to start promoting people soon because they actually have all the promoted weapons now. All right, but you know what? This is gonna run super over long if I keep doing this. Uh, so I might be ending this one a little bit early. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed what we saw, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time to fight in fucking Desktop Kingdom, apparently. Peace out!